I have bad news. Robin's infection? Lisa. She's going before the hospital board with an ultimatum. Robin's fired or Lisa walks. Well, what are you talking and about? And I'm, I'm afraid she has a good shot at pulling this off. She's documented every step of the way. Every time Robin's fallen off the handle or said something out of line, she made a paper trail with HR and the cops. Well, you, they, they have been provoked. You've seen it. Subject to interpretation. Chief, you got to be kidding me. Robin is a respected doctor. She's an upstanding citizen of this city. Lisa's been here for five minutes. She was just in Shady, but for a psych Which evaluation. she came out of clean, Patrick. You've got to prepare yourself for the worst. There's nothing to indicate Lisa's done anything to Robin, except sleep with her husband, which Lisa freely admits. And on the other hand, Robin has gone off on her in public more than on one occasion and repeatedly made unsubstantiated accusations, including the jaw dropper that Lisa torched the Scorpio. Okay, home. maybe Robin jumped to conclusions about the fire, but it's look at everything Lisa's done. None of that can be proven, but it's a fact that Lisa risked her own life to save Robin. And I respect that. And I will freely admit that maybe Robin is a little overboard in her suspicion, but it is not unprovoked. Look, I'm sorry. I, I like Robin and I respect Robin. And my gut's telling me that she's getting a raw deal. But if I have to go before the board, I have to be honest with what I've witnessed. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I, I haven't seen Lisa acting erratically. Only Robin. Lisa's going to the board to try and get you fired. You know what? Fine. Good. It'll be a perfect chance to get everything out in the open. Uh, Robin, you don't understand. If you go to the board with everything you think Lisa's done, there's no proof of that. On the other hand, everything you've done to Lisa, she's taken record and she's thorough. She's a pathological liar. I know that and you know that. Well, Steve knows that too. Remember when she hit on him and then dumped him as soon as she got his attention? Yeah, I think Steve's on your side, but he's the chief of staff. He's got to be noncommittal. His word carries a lot of weight around here. I know Steve likes you and he respects you, but he's got to go on what he's witnessed. And unfortunately, that's just you going off on Lisa. Whatever. You know what? If the board members, most of whom know me my entire life, can't tell the difference between me and some nut job, then you know what? Let them fire me. Hey, I don't need to work don't here. Don't even go there. This is our hospital. We met here. Emma was born here. We are not letting Lisa take this from us, too. Maybe she already has. There's got to be a way to stop her. We just have to figure out what it is. Starting a little early, aren't we? <laughs> I'm not early enough. That bad? Life's been better. Well, if you're gonna make me guess, I would say that you're worried about the internal affairs review. Where it gets around, huh? You know I have a few connections. I could use them on your behalf if you like. Yeah? You think it will do any good? Well, it's worth a try. I appreciate it. You know I'm not a big fan of your relationship with Sonny. But I believe that you're a straight shooter. I don't think that you would break the law for him. Well, you're right about that, but you're pretty off on the other. What's that? Well, I'm not in a relationship with Sonny anymore. I mean, he did the right thing. He did the noble thing. And if you want to be cynical about it, he uh, unloaded me like a lot of inconvenient luggage. So either way, you know, what everyone warned me about has come to pass, and I'm just another one of Sonny's exes. So like I said, not early enough. As you, as you probably already know, I started to have feelings for Claire. Intellectually, I know that Sonny did the right thing by ending things while I can still salvage my career. And hey, I'm resilient. Just give me some time and I can, I can move on. But it's really not what I wanted and I was hoping that Sonny didn't want it either. Yeah, you see, I'm... I'm afraid that you were right about what you said earlier. That you were inconvenient baggage. Oh, you know what? I really shouldn't be sharing my deepest insecurities with you. <laughs> but you know what? You know, I wasn't fair to Sonny either. I mean, he could not He could have continued this relationship. I was certainly willing. Sonny ended things for my own good. Sorry. Sonny doesn't make noble sacrifices. I, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but he only serves himself. So your trouble with the feds was an efficient way to dump you so that he could focus his attention 
on Brenda. How's Brenda 